Welcome back to the Digital Ledger channel, everybody. I'm Brad Kimes. You can follow me at Backup Bradley on Twitter and everything that we're talking about here. Here is a quick article on JP Morgan to unlock trillions of liquidity with tech partnership Talia to circulate funds in supply chains. Now, if anybody, I'm, I have, I looked this morning, I looked as long as I could. I did not find any connection between Talia and Ripple. So if anybody out here in the community, and we have one hell of a, a group out here, if you have any information, whether Ripple has been a uh, early investor and funded them at all, or whether they're working back in with Talia in the supply chain, or whoever they may be working with or building their, their system off of, Please let us know in the comments underneath this video, but this is exciting nonetheless to see JP Morgan bringing in a relationship with a technology partnership to open up the supply chains. It feels like the momentum is really moving now to get onto this new system of digitization and tokenization across the board in every area of industry from finance to trade finance and so on. So cross-border payment settlement, the whole bit. So let's keep going. That's just a piece of news. I wanted to really, really bring a call to action with the community to see if we can get some more information on Talia. I have actually reached out on Twitter to Talia to try to get that same answer and you've yet to do so. So, all right. Now, yesterday we covered uh, Matthew Lainai's great uh, work here uh, on finding First American Trust FSB selects Valente Technologies for U.S. Fedwire system to be in the cloud. Now, let's move on here. Here is the article that breaks that down. And essentially, they have chosen Valente's uh, technologies to use Volpay for the U.S. Fedwire uh, service running on Microsoft Azure, which will replace the bank's legacy Fedwire processing solution and modernize its payments processing infrastructure. Now, this is important because we also understand that, you know, uh, through this, we understand that... Um, it is running back end. Volpe runs back end on Ripple. So this is extremely important to understand the connection here. Now, Valente Technologies this morning has a thing they call Wednesday Wisdom. And they put this little fun fact out here. 2019 saw over 167 million Fedwire transactions executed with a total daily value of over $2.7 trillion dollars. Wow. Valenti Technologies. Now, this is not, they're not talking about the First American Trust FSB Bank. They're talking about Valente Technologies, which was selected by First American Trust FSB Bank to be the solution to their U.S. Fedwire as a service in the cloud. Valente's, to be clear, is telling you how much business they saw last year for Fedwire's transactions executed. Now, why are we adding them to the cloud? Well, it goes on in here in this article to really break down the efficiency. Obviously, we all know the scalability, the the cost savings that is that is brought by being able to move things into the cloud. There's a huge cost savings there that is that is brought on, and they can begin to offer this to lower tier banks, mid tier banks, and community banks to help them reduce the dependency on core legacy providers. Now, moving from that, and obviously all of this is moving to a cloud native, cloud agnostic, microservices based. Uh, natural fit for 24-7, 365 operation, and ISO 20022 message support, ensuring the bank investments are future-proofed. Now, I want to remind everybody here that Ripple has recently joined the ISO uh, standards body and committee, which is the first and only blockchain company to be in that committee, and they are to explore the implementation of distributed lecture technology. I also want to remind you that RippleNet is a cloud-based service that is built around the ISO 20022. There we have it. So there's that. Now, the next thing I want to do is go back to this statement, the Wednesday wisdom. And we know that they are, Valente is now offering this as a solution 
right, for FSB, the First American Trust. And I don't know what their payment flows every day through Fedwire are, but I think it would be pretty naive of us to assume that Valente is going to offer this cloud-based service technology to only the First American Trust FSB Bank and no one else on the Fedwire system, especially when we understand that they have seen 167 million transactions last year to the tune of $2.7 trillion. So let's have a little fun. What would $2 trillion do in the XRP calculator if we put that in, which was created by Robert Michnick and Susan Athey of Ripple? And let's see what $2 trillion daily would do to the transactions and the price of XRP. We would end up with a $522.35 XRP at just $2 trillion from Valente Technologies. Now, I want to remind everybody before they get their ass in the air because the coin is $0.19 cents today. If you're in this space and you're watching this video, you are a speculator. And I do it till the cows come home. But at the end of the day, fundamentals rule the day. What we're looking at here are the fundamentals discussed by Valente. And we are speculating about the notion that not only will they bring First American Bank Trust to the Fedwire system using the cloud service, but the rest of this 167 million transactions and $2.7 trillion a year in value to XRP and Ripple, bringing us to at some point a $500 plus XRP. Now, when will that happen? I don't know. Will it happen that way? I don't know. What I do know is, is that I'm using real numbers from a real company that has be begun to do a real implementation of the technology with banks. And there is no mistake about it that this is exactly what they're planning to do. Now, somewhere in here also, I have a diagram that came from Matthew Lainai as well. And in fact, I'm going to find it for you right now. Let me... Uh, let me find this for all of us really quickly here, because this is important, and I do want you to see this. It is to reassure you that the information is solid and verified by Matthew Lainai. Now, let me just, uh, one second here, because it's down here just a little further. Here it is right here. So this is really where it came in. Brian Brooks just takes over the comptroller of U.S. currency, lays out a plan for banking regulators. The First American Trust is a federal savings bank regulated by the Office of the Comptroller of Currency with offices in Southern California and Nevada. And look at this. Volpe Ripple Processor Module. <laughs> That's a Ripple Cloud right there. You can see the connection, the process, everything's laid out, explains everything right here. This, to me, is remarkable. Understanding the tie-in that we're seeing to the Office of Comptroller of Currency, Brian Brooks, who came from Coinbase. This is the connections that we're looking at here, and looking ahead at these connections and understanding what the impl implications are about what this means to move to a cloud-based system tells me some of the next things that I'm looking for is decisions from uh, FinCEN and FSOC. These are regulatory bodies that are connected directly to the U.S. Treasury. It has been urged by lawmakers for the last couple years that they absolutely deem cloud-based services like Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services, and Microsoft Azure which is being used in this information and news. To have these cloud-based services, which are non-bank, non-financial institutions, be deemed systemically important financial market utilities, which means they will be held to a higher regard and a higher standard because they can be so disruptive in a positive and negative way 
to the entire financial system. And if all of these things are coming together as we are seeing, who knows? Maybe we do end up with a $500 plus XRP at some point. All I know is, is I only put $2 trillion in. The information on Wednesday Wisdom says two point seven. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. If you like the content, hit the like and subscribe. This is crypto. You never know. Head on a swivel out here. Leave a comment below, and I'll catch you on the next one.